What's the first thing you do when you walk into a room? You may react to a change in temperature or even a bad smell, depending on whose room. Either way, you immediately and subconsciously sense and respond to the environment around you. But now imagine instead that you're a cell. How do you know where you are? Cells don't have a sense of sight, sense of smell or hearing, but they do have an extremely sensitive sense of touch. Hundreds of proteins come together in a defined and intricate order to form structures known as focal adhesions. These form at the edge of the cell and reach outside, literally grabbing onto the surrounding environment, basically acting like a cell's tiny hands. Using these hands, the cell then pulls and probes on the external environment, feeling its mechanical properties and feeling the forces acting on the cell. Changes in the forces that are acting on the cell affect processes such as cell division, migration, and even differentiation. Furthermore, these mechanical properties, these forces, can change drastically in diseases such as cancer, where the tissue becomes stiffer. This is why you can feel a tumor as a stiff lump underneath your skin. This change in the environment, in turn, changes how a cancer cell behaves. A stiffer environment causes the cell to divide more often and to move faster, both of which are important characteristics of cancer. Therefore, it is important that we can understand exactly how the cell is feeling these changes in order to better understand these diseases. Currently, we don't know exactly how the focal adhesion is able to convert these mechanical signals into a biochemical cellular response. I am trying to determine exactly which components of the focal adhesion are responsible for sensing these mechanical signals and in turn, how they trigger a response from the cell. Put simply, I'm trying to understand how cells quite literally use the force. My name's Ben and I'm a PhD student at the University of Manchester. Some greenhouse gases, such as nitrous oxides, also form acid rain, which injures plants, preventing them from taking up the nutrients needed for growth. 